Cell structure three has to do with cytoskeleton and inclusions. The cytoskeleton is composed of three different components. You have tubules, the microtubules, which are the largest component. And then you have a microfilament, which is the smallest component. So this is a filament, not a tube. And then you have intermediate filaments uh, in there as well. And if you would take a cell and stain it with Kamasi blue, you would see the network of the cytoskeletal components as well as other proteins uh, in the cell. Here we can see uh, EM4 is a, is a surface view, the luminal view of intestinal absorptive cells showing you the brush border. The clear space below the brush border is the terminal web uh, of these cells. So here we can see it again. If you look at the higher mag of that, you can see the glycocalyx coat, uh, which is on the outside of the microvilli projecting off. But also, if you look good enough, you can see little filaments in there. Those are microfilaments, uh, the smallest uh, component of a cytoskeletal component, which pushes uh, the, the individual uh, microvilli uh, out, uh, uh, individual microvillus out um, to uh, project out on, this, on the surface of the cell. We can see those again. Uh, you can uh, see the... Um, the actin filaments, you can see little lines in there. These are the actin filaments itself, uh, which is a microfilament, and they project down into this region, which is a terminal web. So here you can see the filaments actually go from within the, the, uh, the microvillus uh, down into the terminal web, and you can see the plasma membrane surrounding each one of those. This is another cell, a liver cell, we can't really see the plasma membrane very well, but the plasma membrane has these microfilaments associated with them because actually they kind of push onto the uh, membrane and push uh, the membrane out uh, to change it. Also here we can see a tube. Uh, the biggest component is a microtubule, and we can see some intermediate filaments too uh, projecting through here. There's some more intermediate filaments right down in there, there, and there, and, and another microtuber. There's mitochondria right there. Uh, this is a, a Sertoli cell, a nurse cell between two germ cells uh, in the testis. Uh, and here we can see a microtubule, very long microtubule. Here's a microtubule. You can see it right in through there. Very, very long microtubules to be able to see in there. And we can see it, the little higher mag uh, right there. Uh, here we see some a stable microtubules is part of a centriole. You remember the centriole is the nine triplets, one, two, three microtubules. Uh, and radiated from there will be labile microtubules or cytoplasmic microtubules, as you might would, uh, would say. If you look at the surface of ciliated cells, you see the basal bodies uh, just below the plasma membrane. And these would, basal bodies are uh, nine triplets like a centriole, but then as you f start to form uh, the, the axoneme uh, coming out of the cilium, uh, here you have nine plus uh, two central pair, uh, nine doublets and a central pair. Here we can see uh, a perpendicular view of that. There's the cell surface, and you can see that the, um, the basal bodies project down below the plasma membrane, and that's where you have the nine, uh, nine triplets. And then you have the cilium itself. Uh, you actually have an axoneme inside there versus the basal body uh, below the cell surface. Again, we can see microtubules, uh, microfilaments. Uh, this is a nucleus in through there, uh, and intermediate filaments. Um, you can also see intermediate filaments in nerve. This is a swan cell. Uh, myelinated axon, and you can see a series of little tubes in there. There's uh, microtubules, uh, lots of microtubules, but also intermediate there you can see little dots, which are the intermediate filaments. Intermediate filaments can really be seen uh, in dendrites. So here you can see this is a cell body here. Uh, these are axon 
uh, uh, making connection with the uh, dendrites of the cell. Here's a snap we can see right here uh, going on. So the dendrites of the cell, which project out that axons came on and fringe on, have lots of, of uh, intermediate filaments that we can see. Now, uh, in terms of cytoplasmic major classes of uh, cytoplasmic constructors, of course, we've got membranous organelles, and the non-membranous organelle is the cytoskeletal components that we just talked about, microtubules, uh, microfilaments and intermediate filaments. There's also another component and that's uh, inclusions. Exclusions are expendable and here we can see some inclusions in these uh, surface mucus cells uh, in the uh, stomach where you have little inclusions inside there. Now mitochondria here are the protocell and not inclusions. Those are membranous organelles, right? and you can see some mitochondria here, but these dark dots in through there, little granules, are the mucus associated with the uh, surface uh, of the stomach. We can see those again, and these help protect the stomach from being, uh, being digested. Um, <clears throat> if you look at a uh, electron micrograph, you can see another inclusion, which is glycogen. The glycogen form little rosettes in through there, and they're larger than the ribosomes you see on the rough and the plasma reticulum. Uh, and so these are inclusions. Autophagic vacuole will ultimately make an inclusion, which would be uh, a, a lipofusin granules. Uh, lipid is another inclusion uh, that, that we might see. Uh, crystalline structure in the egg, again, is inclusion, need not be there, could be useful, but doesn't have to be there. Uh, also, other lipid in sterile secreting cell, this is lipid here, is inclusion, inclusion, inclusion um, that we see there. This is actually calcium deposits uh, in mitochondria, but we can see the lipid here, 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 here. Sometimes lipid is black uh, and sometimes it is white, uh, as you can see there, depending upon uh, the, the makeup of the lipid itself. Remember the pancreatic astrocells where you have the zymogen granules on the apex. If you look at that with salutin in blue, you can see the zymogen granules and then the, they are inclusions uh, usually in the apex of the, of the cell to be discharged. Uh, we can see that again. Uh, the host of these granules here, as we see right in here, are inclusions or secretary product. If we look at an ultrastructural a view of that, uh, we can uh, see the zymogen granules itself uh, as they're somewhat less condensed, more condensed, as ultimately they become very condensed for exocytosis uh, on the surface whenever this cell is induced to do so. Um, also inclusions are the secretions of agave cell. These are inclusions uh, as well, need not be there, but uh, very important for it to be uh, in the cell. Uh, these are chief cells, uh, other inclusions. Also, these are endoendocrine cells uh, in the stomach, uh, and uh, they have uh, secretory granules and too, and they too are inclusions. So these are inclusions, those are inclusions, fats are inclusions. Um, uh, here we can see the uh, autophagic vacuole, where you're digesting its content, and that can be inclusion uh, ultimately. Lipofusin granules need not be there, but at the end product of degradation, you can see some dark and light areas. That's a secondary lysosome. Further digestion become at lipofusin granule, and that is an inclusion. Uh, others would be lipid uh, that you might have in the steroid secreted cells. In the lungs, here we see the lungs coming down with a series of branching and branching and branching. Finally, you've got little uh, spaces, air spaces, air sacs. And that's what we see here, little air sacs. Um, uh, a lungs uh, it, it has lots of macrophages in there, dust macrophage cells in through there, and we can see some here that has uh, taken up various dust particles uh, to uh, help clean up uh, the lungs. Here again, we can see the, these are inclusions. They need not be there for the cell to live, but it's very important that they're there. Uh, this is an ultrastructural view of a macrophage showing you uh, various stages of secondary lysosomes 
uh, uh, as inclusions uh, inside the cell. Uh, and, uh, inclusions here uh, in the Sertoli cell is a dark lipid, lipid there uh, and there. This is not lipid here, this is actually um, part of a germ cell that got pulled out uh, in through there. But lipofusin granules here and here, as well as the lipid granules. Uh, lipid is very characteristic, very spherical, and you can see the lipid granules located in there. Um, others might be debris that's inside the cell, need not be there. Uh, if we look at the cardiac cells, um, and we looked at, you can see some inclusions there. These are um, uh, residual digestions going on, uh, lipofusin granules that we see uh, inside uh, the muscle cells, especially old cells will have these uh, granules inside them. You can also see the granules um, in uh, the nerve cells. So here we can see the um, uh, lipofusin granules in the nerve cells. There's a cell body, there's a cell uh, nucleus, cell body, nerve cells around, another one in through there. And if you look at this one right here, you can see a little bit of gold uh, in uh, this uh, tent in through there that's this guy right here, uh, and that goal is uh, inclusions inside the cell.